fitness industry for probably 12 years, so from the age of 18 really. I've had various fitness jobs, but it mainly started with classes. I taught a lot of classes. So I guess I was more into metabolic conditioning as opposed to weightlifting yeah. back then. So I used to do boot camps, Metcon, that type of thing. Um, and it wasn't until I got the PT job here at Lifestyle Fitness five years ago that I really started lifting and, and doing that full time and kind of stay, uh, coming away from the classes. What made you go to I think it was just a, it was an easy progression. I was a sprinter, so I already had quite a lot of tissue from, from like, as in muscle, muscular tissue, from being a sprinter from the age of 11. So I'd already developed quite a lot of, like, particularly in my legs, I had big hamstrings, I had big quads. I already had the basis of it. And because I was always interested in fitness, it was the only thing I really loved doing at school. It was just quite easily transferable. And then when I, when I started personal training, it was actually the other PTs that had put it into my head, kind of said, you know, you've, you've already got quite a lot of muscle. Have you ever thought about doing bodybuilding and, and competing? And I hadn't. It wasn't something that had first come into my head until they kind of suggested it. And then me and my friend um, Tamsin just thought, I oh, will give it a go. And in 2015 was my first show. And when you went to college? Yes. So yeah, I did the, the usual route really. I went school, college, university. Then I went travelling for a year, then came back and then really started. And what did you study in university? Sports development with coaching. And what was that then? Because were you going to lift them up at time? No, um, I went to the gym, yeah. but it was just to keep fit really. I was still kind of into my sport then. I was playing netball and I was doing more to do with sport than I was fitness. I'm not saying it's, it, I know it's very similar, but in terms of actually competing in something it was sport as opposed to weightlifting. Um, and what was your diet like? Was it just um, just... I've always been conscious of diet, I have, um, but it, it's nowhere near what it is now. But yeah, I guess it was living to a budget, same as most students, but I would still always be conscious of getting enough protein um, and making sure I wasn't over consuming on the calories. But it's quite it's quite difficult when you, you your main your priority at university is getting your assignments done and going out <laughs> and getting drunk. So yeah, I, I, I guess at the time I wasn't as conscious of it as I, I definitely am now. Um, was it when you graduated from university when you started becoming like more interested? Yeah, absolutely. I think age kind of gives you a little bit more incentive to look after yourself. Like as you do, when you're in your early 20s, it's not something you even have to worry about. But as those 20s start to get a little bit further behind you, you, you do get a little bit more conscious of, of your health and your body. Um, I'd still say it took me till probably the age of about 26 before I really started to fine tune my nutrition. Um, but nutrition is the biggest thing I think um, in, in personal training, everything that I do with my clients is if they haven't got the nutrition sorted, they won't get anywhere near the results that they could achieve. So it's important to me, but I probably didn't realise it till about the age of 26. Um, and what about um, you what made you want to go for that? Like I say, the, the PTs that I kind of started my, my job role with had it put, it put it into my head. And at the time I wanted to experience the discipline of something. So I, under, I think as a personal trainer and I think because I've always been involved in sport, as an adult it makes it, very, it, makes it a lot easier. If you come in from not having a, a sporting background or a healthy background or a fitness background, and then you all of a sudden hit the age of even mid-twenties and you're starting as a beginner, it is quite difficult. I was lucky enough that I was interested in all of those things, so I already had the basics, so it was easy for me to transfer and get into building and things like that. I don't need to have much discipline to, to have the figure I want, whereas I know clients of mine do. They have to be so strict to, to achieve like, their optimal result. 
that I wanted to experience what it's like to have that discipline. And for me, that's the next jump, which was bodybuilding. What was it, Kelly, something you want to do? Was there anyone who inspired you to do? Um, no specific bodybuilders inspired me actually. Um, I was very unaware of the whole thing really. Yeah. Um, the inspiration yeah, really came from people around me and the industry that I was now in. Um, and I knew, I knew it would actually help my business as well. As, it, as being in my first year of PTing, I knew that if I could achieve something, it would, it would almost demonstrate to other people that uh, if, if, if I can do it, then other people can. Like a lot of people told me over there, because of the preparation of the show, um, what, what, what was yours like, dieting as you were stripping? Um, to be honest, in my 2015 show, I adopted a little bit more of a flexible diet and approach, so it was very, it was calorie controlled, and I could essentially eat what I wanted as long as I hit my calories. Now, I say that, eating what I want, it was still very healthy. Um, but if I wanted to have a subway, I would have a subway, but make sure I was still within my calorie deficit and still hitting my protein amount. Um, so it was quite flexible and it worked well for me. It was, it was hard though, I was very hungry and um, the training was difficult. However, my 2017 show last year, I was a hell of a lot more disciplined. I think it's because I was going for a bigger federation. It was more important to me. The 2015 was just, I'm going to try it and see if I can do it. 2017, I, I, wanted, I wanted something out of it. I wanted to come somewhere. I mean, I, I'd still placed in my 2015 show, but it wasn't as big as it is now. It's a lot more popular these oh, days. Okay. So which one? Oh, a UK BFF. Yeah. Um, so I went for bikini wellness, which is actually a stage up from bikini. It's just slightly more muscular, which suits my body shape. So my prep for 2017 was a lot more disciplined. I was on a fixed nutrition plan where it was the same food every single day. Um, the training was pretty brutal um, and I, I really felt it this year. And because of the way the com competitions actually spanned out, I was in prep for 30 weeks and it was really hard and coming off prep was probably the hardest thing I've ever experienced. Mm -hmm. um.